Hey, good afternoon. It's Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility, and today I'm shooting a video of our 2013 Toyota Sienna XLE. You can see either one of the key fobs. I can operate both the power sliding doors. You can see the power ramp comes out. The van is kneeling low to the ground. We even have the power rear trunk hatch, so you can approach from the vehicle if you'd like to. Uh, come up on, get it all opened up. You can roll right on in. We've got about 29 and a half inch ramp. We've got about 56 inches of headroom coming inside the van. And you got about 61 for you taller the folks that need a little more headroom, 61 inches of headroom once you're inside the van. This is the Braun Ability Conversion, so the XLE fully loaded. Got this nice kind of carbon fiber, bar, carbon fiber floor here. It's easy to clean, got your upgraded Q strains. A lot of our competition is going to charge you a lot of money to upgrade to those. We throw them in at no charge to you. Got your leather seats back here. What a lot of people like about these uh, side entry vans, one of the benefits is if you're going to do any traveling, you can pop the seat down there real quick. Put a lot of extra luggage and things like that back here so that gives you an option to uh to store things a little easier for those of you that like to travel or maybe you have a lot of groceries get your spare tire back here and both of these will obviously they'll fold down to get them back up it's super simple give it a tug right there you're ready to roll one super cool feature about this van has a swivel passenger seat these are pretty rare so if you want to put your power chair your scooter or whatever back here you can load up right here and then we can swivel back towards the uh, front and then we can scoot it forward here a little bit and you're ready to go so really really neat option if uh, having your loved one or someone you know close to you next to you is important that allows it to be done very easily got your removable driver's seat as well if you decided you want to pull that out drive from your wheelchair that's an option too got a moonroof I'll show you that here in just a minute got the uh, heated seats you're not gonna need those anytime soon but they're great for the winter time the backup camera the navigation the dash is in great shape and you can operate all the uh, doors up here as well. I'm gonna shut the rear hatch and the uh, driver's slide sliding door over there. I'm gonna exit this one obviously and I'm gonna shut it back down. See the van coming back up, that kneel does work. It's got the tinted windows, it's got your roof rack in case you need to do any extra traveling. It's got the uh, alloy wheels. All the tires on this van are darn near brand new. Really good shape on the tires. For some reason, they have three Michelins and a Yokohama. They probably had a blowout and probably got a brand new Yokohama on there. So don't shoot the messenger, but the tires are very good in their name brand. As I do a walk around of this van, it's hard to find a dent or a scratch on this van. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's perfect, but it's been very well taken care of and the, as the pictures and video show. And you, you hear me talk all the time how we can save you five to $10,000 on your wheelchair accessible vans. It's, it's simple how we do it. It's low overhead. We've got one location right in the middle of the country, Wichita, Kansas which allows us to do free shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states, which saves you money. The other thing we do is uh, with our one store, I want you to imagine our competitors with 5, 10, 50, 100 stores. I want you to imagine all their overhead every month, trying to keep all those stores open, pay all their employees, all the insurance overhead. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. But they spend literally millions of dollars more per month than we do on overhead. And that's how we beat their prices by so much. So that's... No magic to it, just like to inform people, that's how we do it. And no matter who you do business with, get a video of the VIN number on the van. Why I say that? Because people on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace is the dirtiest place in the world to buy a vehicle. You better know what you're doing if you, if you want to do it. But uh, they take pictures of my van, they cut out our sign, they put a van like this on the internet, $12,000 for a $1,000 deposit. They're trying to get you to send them the deposit, they're trying to scam you. You say to them, hey, I want you to say your name, so my name is Jeremiah Coleman. I own Affordable Mobility. I got this van right here with me. They couldn't do that because they don't have the vans with them. They're simply stealing pictures. They're simply trying to scam somebody. Protect yourself. Make sure you get a video. Don't get scammed. All right, what we do with that van now, but we also run a Carfax on every single one of our vehicles before we buy it. You see four owners on this vehicle. Got some good service records. As we scroll down, Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title and they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title. Carfax shows no structural damage. Airbags have never deployed. Odometer's accurate. It does show some minor damage in March 2023. So I'm gonna scroll down here. Again, you can see the vehicle's had some regular service to it. But I'm get to that damage. It shows March 14th, 2023. Uh, damage report, this is minor damage. is usually cosmetic, including dents or scratches to the vehicle body. So. Maybe someone bumped them in a parking lot. You know, definitely nothing major. I'm not afraid to buy a vehicle that's got a clean title. Might have had a bumper painted. You know, no airbags went off, no frame damage. 
definitely nothing major. So, and no matter who you do business with, find them online, check out the reviews and ratings. Look at us on eBay, 1,569 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback, that's 100%. I'd say that's a good reputation. And no matter who you do business with, find them on Google. Make sure they are a real company. Make sure they have a handful of reviews. I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with all, how, how all the scamming works. But they can make a fake business. They can get three or four reviews on there. So don't fall for that. Make sure they have 327 reviews here. 4.8 out of 5 stars. You know, I hear horror stories all the time about people buying from private individuals. You know, someone they knew nothing about with no reputation. Well, they end up buying from one of these low-end dealers that's got 1 and 2 and 3 star ratings instead of 4.8 like we have. They end up buying a stolen vehicle. Yes, there are people out there selling stolen vehicles. Well, they end up buying a vehicle that's got a salvage title they weren't told about. Flood damage they weren't notified of. You know, major mechanical issues, a bad transmission, bad engine, just thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage to these vehicles that they weren't told about. So, hey, if you want those one and two and three star experiences, you go ahead and deal with the general public and those low end dealers. If you want five star vans with five star service from a company that's been doing this for over a dozen years now, I look forward to working with you. All right, back to the van. Like I mentioned earlier, we got the uh, two keys on here as I open up the van. It's very clean. I am a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in here. It has this like a light gray leather, super clean van. And also if you ever want to operate these doors manually, you can hit the off button. It makes the power doors turn off. They become manually sliding doors. I should do that to show you just the driver's side here. I know you've already seen back here. Just a little different perspective on the van. And I like about this van, it's got the push button start. So if a key is in your pocket or your purse, you don't have to fish it out. You simply get in here, put your foot on the brake, push button start, see so the van fires right up. As Carfax shown, 28,446 actual miles. A brand new van with XLE with all this on it would cost over $100,000 today. So you save a ton of money and get a low mileage Toyota. Get your navigation, your backup camera. I've got our moon roof here. I'm gonna show you that works. And I always got the tilt and then we got to go all the way back one thing I always check on these moon roofs, I look around for uh, any leaks, you know, water spots. And uh, folks, this is, a, this is a Toyota, they don't leak. But uh, I want to show you what I look for. And so you can look for the same things and see that it's nice and dry. I've got four mechanics working for me. We've tested all the power mirrors and windows, and I'm going to show you those moving up and down. There's that mirror, there's that mirror. We've tested all the power locks, heat, air, crews, belts, hoses, suspension, steering, brakes. Taking these on a road test, check the tires. My point is, we do not just put these on the lot after a car wash. We go through a th very thorough inspection before they hit my lot. Hope you can tell by my videos. We are thorough in everything we do. Underneath the hood, we got the 3.5 V6 engine. Idles smoothly, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks, and it sounds great. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any oil or fluid leaks. No signs of any you know, water damage from being in a flood and no signs of any rust from being up north. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles. They assume things. They assume just because it looks good in pictures, or they assume it runs and drives good. They assume because it's low mileage, they assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident or a flood. Folks, you know how many brand new car dealerships get flooded, you know, especially this time of year when it's spring? Uh, you know, the water doesn't care. I see tons of vehicles at auction that are brand new that have flood damage on them. So do not assume things. And what I want you to do, Go check out my competition. I want you to ask yourself, do they show me the undercarriage so I can see I'm getting a vehicle that didn't have major accidents, no flood damage, and do they show me the reputation online so I know I'm dealing with someone honest, reputable, and fair? Do they show me a Carfax report so I know I got a vehicle that's got a clean title, no major accidents, never been in a flood? So do not assume things. Um, no matter who you buy from, what, what happens if you end up buying a van that you can't get a title for because you're dealing with a shady individual? What happens if you end up buying a van that won't pass inspection in your state? because it got frame damage, whether it be from an accident or a flood. In both of those cases, and in many more, you buy a vehicle you can't register, you just bought a paperweight. So to avoid those problems and so many more, do these four things before you buy from anybody. Demand a detailed video like this. Not some lazy 30 second walk around, folks. You're not buying some $50 handbag off Amazon. This is a very expensive purchase. Make sure you get a detailed video. Second, demand a Carfax report. Yes, Carfax cost me thousands of dollars a month I paid that extra money because Carfax has the best vehicle history reports there are. So do not settle for anything less than the best, especially on an investment like this. A third, get online, find out who you're buying from, check out their reputation and reviews. We talked about this earlier. Don't be a lazy buyer. Lazy buyers get scammed out of thousands and thousands of dollars. Don't be a lazy buyer. And then 
third, a uh, fourth demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90 day, 3,000 mile drivetrain plus warranty. You go to any shop in the country. Do not risk buying as is, demand that warranty. And also about those roofs, like I said, make sure you get a video of the roof. You know, know how many vehicles I see at auction have real bad hail damage on the roof, a big old dent in the roof from it, from some kind of damage, they have holes, drip, holes drilled in the roof from being a taxi. And then nobody fixes that stuff because nobody at auction looks at the roofs. You know who looks at the roof? Jeremiah Coleman with Affordable Mobility. That's who looks at the roof. So make sure you take my advice on these things. I don't want to see anybody getting scammed or buying something they shouldn't be getting. So let's get her out for a road test. All right, I want to show you that radio works good as well. And the final portion of the video, I like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states, if you come in and drive this Sienna home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. Pops up to 70 miles an hour, no problems. Got the cruise control set. Cruise works good. The steering wheel is nice and straight. No unusual vibration or noise. Runs and drives very nice down the highway. Now, do keep in mind we have a complimentary 90-day warranty and no additional charge to you. We do offer long-term warranties uh, that cover not only the van but also the conversion. This conversion can get kind of costly to work on. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect the van and also the conversion at a very reasonable cost. And do keep in mind, um, a lot of these dealers, they show a real nice price online, what they've hidden in the fine print, $500 administrative fee, a document fee, they got tag fees, they got freight, you name it, they got a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So by the time you add up all these fees and by the time you add up the cost of shipping, that real nice price you saw online jumps three or $4,000. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about shipping and fees before you buy or sit back, relax, let me take care of all that for you and no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it major mechanical issues? You know, I can't speak for them, but one thing I can speak for, that in any business, but none more important than the used car business, transparency is key. That's exactly why I'm out here today making this video to be 100% transparent with you. So be aware of that when you're out shopping. And if you'd like to give us a call or preferably a text message, a text message goes to everybody in our office. We can get back to you right away. But 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. That's a direct line to reach out to me. And I challenge you to ask the, comp ask the competition if they're dedicated enough to customer service to give you a direct line to call or text the owner. Or do you just call in and talk to an automated system, end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person that's that super aggressive, pushy, used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, sick of being treated like just a number by all these companies out there, and you definitely want to avoid that annoying used car salesman, give us a call, give us a text. We'll walk you through start to finish, and I promise you I'm going to sell this to you whether you buy it or not. Absolutely zero pressure sales here. Um, you did see when I came down the ramp a few minutes, a couple minutes ago, coming down, I gave a nice hard break. There was no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So again, exactly what we're looking for. And uh, as far as financing, going to be a little bit tougher being an 11-year-old van. Someone with you know really good credit, good debt to income ratio might qualify for financing on this van. So we can sure give it a shot. We can send you an application to your phone or email. And if computers aren't your thing, get in touch with us. We'll give you a call. We'll take an application over the phone. Yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether a standard or a mobility vehicle. Call me, text me. We can get in touch with you, explain how that works. And if you made it to the end of our video, thanks for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but I know it's a major purchase, so I try to be as thorough as possible. And if you ever do want to come in to see our inventory, we do welcome that, but you must make an appointment. I know your time is valuable. We don't want to miss you. We have three different locations. We keep vans. So call us, text us, make that appointment with us. Let us set you and us up for success. We would appreciate that. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free Carfax reports, and dozens of pictures of every van, all with no hidden fees. So you know exactly what you're getting for the most thorough and transparent mobility dealership in the entire country. Check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking us out at mobility316.com, home of affordable 
Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call or text us today, and we hope you have yourself a wonderful day.